First of all, I just got out of the shower. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy today because my new mic has arrived. I also want to upgrade my filming setup for YouTube. So guess what? I got out my Canon G7X, which I got a very long time ago. And I also have my Sigma lens. It has been collecting dust in my drawers. So I'm like, you know what? Let me take these out. This is how my videos have been sounding for the past forever. This is the sound. And now we're gonna change the new mic and camera. And this is the new camera with the new mic on. Just looking at the viewfinder, it is looking amazing. Amazing. The lighting just keeps going on and off, so I don't know how I'm going to try and fix that. But what do we think of the new quality, new sound? This is the old sound again, and we're back with the new quality and new sound. Let me know your thoughts. Let's do my skincare and start our day. We're just spending the day at home today. I have so many things that I need to get done in this house, so yeah. Tarek is ever so kindly making me some pancakes. They look so good. Oh, crepes. Crepes, sorry. Last time when I called it pancakes, everybody pancakes. went crazy. They look so good. Flip of the wrist. Flip, flip the wrist. Flip the <laughs> Otherwise, how have you guys been? I'm trying to take care of my skin. I really hate my hyperpigmentation around my mouth and around my eyes. I've been using this Ren Dark Circle eye cream every day. Let's see how it goes. Also on top of that, the Glow Recipe Vitamin C Serum. Apparently it takes up to 12 weeks for you to see differences on your skin for vitamin C. So I'll give you an update in 12 weeks. I really like the glow that it gives you though. Okay. Lastly, sunscreen. I'm gonna let this settle for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go in with my sunscreen. This is the, the Inkylist Polyglomatic Sunscreen. It's nearly finished because Tarek just goes ham on it. Let's go eat breakfast. So this is how I like to have my crepe. Just open it up, add some sugar on top. And you have to have crepes when they're nice and hot, okay? And then you squeeze some lemon. Bismillah. If you guys want to know the recipe for this, I did make a video in Ramadan on my Instagram, my TikTok. Go over there and watch it. One thing I hate about my lips is my t they're too toned. I have this weird like line across my lips which makes it have like two colors. So even if I'm at home, I always like to dab a little bit of like lipstick to make me look normal. I like this video if you have two toned lips as well. <laughs> myself an ipad i told myself this was going to be the source of my motivation of my discipline i don't know how it's working so far but i just wanted to share with you guys like some things that i do and use on the ipad to just help me be productive first thing is my lock screen i've made it a very simple like vision board last year my vision board was this huge board and i think i got like 30 percent done which is still something but i wanted to shorten it this time over here we have two things for my business the first thing is triple my stock so far it's happened the second thing is build a team i'm really struggling with building like a good solid team but make dua for me inshallah third thing is money this is for both my business and myself basically just make more money london is tough yo for personal goals i have morning riser on here i like i dream day and night i dream of being a morning person but it's so hard if you are a morning person and you're watching this please like comment what's your tips how do you do it how do you become that morning person and don't even tell me go to sleep early because that's hard <laughs> another thing is umrah inshallah i really want to do umrah this year with Tarek. really hope that happens and then i put tiktok 100k on tiktok these are my goal my yearly goals and then when you open the ipad it's acid <laughs> Time to pray. This is my home screen. I love how aesthetic I have made it. Sarabi logo over there. I have some quotes here that I live by. It's a goal without a plan is just a wish. Aim to be 1% better than yesterday. What did you do yesterday that you need to do 1% better today? One thing that I absolutely love about the iPad is this app. There's this app called Good Notes. It's an app that you can make digital notebooks. I downloaded this daily journal. So if you're, if you're somebody who's really been wanting to get into journaling, but you're finding it really hard, 
you don't know what to write and where to begin, I absolutely recommend for you guys to get this daily journal over here. This is how it looks like and basically it has these daily journal prompts. Let me just put it here so you can focus better. It's a daily journal that already has these questions that are written out for you and they're different every single day. It has 365 different questions. Today is May 15th, right? It says, is your life today what you once pictured it would be? And then you just write answering that question. Uh, and then you write three things that you're feeling especially grateful for today. Next day, how do you feel when you're completely by yourself with no source of distraction? So every single day it has these prompts, it just helps you in your journal journey. So far, those are the main apps that I use on my iPad to just like help me in terms of productivity and like having my life together. Morning guys, it's a brand new day. I just decided to go for an abaya. Right now I'm going out. I'm going out with a friend for brunch. It's just gonna be a chill day. I did pack an umbrella just in case, you know, it's, it's London. I love this outfit, oh my gosh. Guys, I made it to brunch and I'm here with the lovely Yasmin. Hello. She also has a YouTube channel, by the way. I will link it in the description box below, inshallah. Is this the light you want? Thank you. I expected it to be white. <laughs> so we made it to a restaurant, it's called Roti Chai. We ordered, um, what was this called? Oh, okay. GP? GP chicken. It's like a chicken curry. We have some naan, some rice. Over there we have the chicken farja. It looks so nice and crispy. I'm just gonna take one, dip it in. Yes. See how it tastes That's like. Yeah, what do you think of the food? I mean, you've been there before though. Yes, I have, but I haven't gotten, do you know the um, chicken that sh um, you ordered? Ah, the fried really nice. one. The fried it was one. so good, like it's very crispy. <laughs> and like it came with this uh, kind of like tamarind chili sauce. Yeah. It's really, really nice. I would highly recommend. So yeah. guys, if you haven't gone there before, just order what we ordered, so. Yeah. Guys, I just got back home from such a lovely, lovely lunch with Yasmin. It was so nice. Whenever I wear this hijab, it really makes my cheeks just plump up. I don't know how I feel about it. I stopped by Primark, River Island after the lunch. I didn't find anything from River Island, but you know, I had to go to Primark home. I got these bunny, what are they called? Bunny tail. I also got just these two baskets. They come in a pack of two. I just want to put like ouds and stuff in here and make it look a little bit more aesthetic. So we might do that just now. Okay, so this is the shelf that I was talking about. It has just too much crap everywhere. We'll start with this small basket. I thought this would be just perfect to put all of my body creams in here so it just makes it look less cluttered. The bigger basket, I might put it in the, at the bottom. look how the button pampas looks on the vase this is the vase i was talking about so i was thinking why do i always wait for sunday to have a self-care day why can't i have a self-care day on this random tuesday and since Tarek is working really late today it would be perfect for me to just have some me time and that includes doing my skincare routine ordering some food and watching a good movie there are two new movies that have launched on sky cinema this month the first is to catch a killer which is featuring shaylin woodley i have never seen her play a thriller type movie so that should be interesting second movie on sky cinema is called dead shot it's an action thriller but because i'm a huge shaylin woodley fan we're gonna watch to catch a killer i'm so excited so let's take off my makeup and start my self-care we'll call it a solo date night because obviously i'm alone but first gotta get myself in some comfy clothes <laughs> So guys, here are some of the other movies that have come out in the past few months. We are going to watch the top first one, which is To Catch a Killer. So in case you're new to my channel, you'd definitely like to know that every month I review a new movie that has come out on Sky Cinema. Sky Cinema is definitely the place to be if you want to be on the loop of new blockbuster movies, Sky Originals, and so much more. It's definitely worth having if you are a movie fanatic, or even if you're not a movie fanatic and you just enjoy watching movies 
and shows in your free time if any of you guys do already have sky cinema please just comment down below what i should be watching let me know what your favorite movies have been or favorite shows that i should definitely check out also this month sky cinema have a pop-up from 13th may to 25th of may there is a fast and furious pop-up on sky select i love fast and furious and no matter how many movies they come out with i will always always watch them Okay, back to the movie. To Catch a Killer is about this talented and rookie detective who is Shailene Woodley, who is called to the scene of this brutal mass shooting, which has been done by this new and terrifying murderer. So the police and the FBI, they launch this manhunt to catch the killer. So this should be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna start playing this movie. I'm excited. Are you guys a fan of thriller movies? I am, but I also get very much scared. So let's see how this goes. The Guys, so many people have been killed already. It's just been like two minutes into the movie. I just finished watching the movie. I really, really, really enjoyed that. Refreshing to see Shailen Woodley play such an epic role. We all know and love her from her performance on The Hunger Games. It was so different to see her play a more mature role. Obviously, it's a thriller. So the whole time I was uh, biting my nails, going like, what's gonna happen next? The one thing I personally enjoy about watching detective thrillers is seeing the different approaches to how the different characters try to unravel the crime in terms of like their methods, tactics for example in this movie like eleanor her ability to observe the little things that people do when they're interrogating them is what leads them to actually finding the criminal but one thing i would have done different towards the end if i was in his shoes i would have definitely called for more help called for backup and told them to come in a very silent manner i think that would have saved so many more people dying i'm gonna leave some information in the description box below where you guys can find out more about sky cinema all the movies that they offer i'm gonna call it a night now i enjoyed my evening just chilling by myself and with sky giving me company i'll see you guys tomorrow brand new day and I am heading off to the office first and then I'm going for an event it's a perfume fragrance event feels weird huh? it's been a while but what recording yeah it has been a while <laughs> <laughs> this this focus is annoying me it's really annoying me for me like I'm, I'm an emotional artist when I feel like but this one was based when my kids were and we lay us so much because okay. oh, okay. oh oh yeah is it like no. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't Hi guys. Uh, we just got out of the event. The event was with this. Uh, this, is under. Is yours? this is mine. Oh, this is mine. Oh, yeah. 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 We just came back from the fragrance event. It's this brand for roads. We got a little discovery set. The weekend smelled a bit nice. Cloud nine. Cloud nine, you guys, literally smells like a baby. And Cloud nine smells like babies. Yeah. Like fresh newborn babies. Which one is your favorite? What's my favorite? I want to say the weekend. Mine was definitely, they have one called the Flower Mountain. You know what I love doing when I get back home and I still have a face of makeup is test and try some PR products that I receive. I think you guys remember I received this in the last video. These are the Giorgio Armani eye tints and I really have been wanting to try this, how it looks on my eyes. So this is what I do when I want to test out how something looks before I actually like go for it. So let's try it. Oh, look at that light. You know what, let's add some light. I just know the formula is amazing. Gosh. It's a bit like loud, to be honest. What do you guys think of the shimmer and how it looks? Let me like come closer. I'm gonna try the other shade I received on the other eye. Oh, it's like this color of my skin. Do we see a difference? It's like a glossy skin. 
What do you guys think? Shimmer and a little bit of a glossy matte. That's it for experimenting. I need to wash my face. I'm also really, really bummed and disappointed because your girl has lost a ring. Oh my God. I just realized that my microphone was facing the other way the entire time that I've been filming. The best part after a really long day is taking my lashes off. And then obviously taking my rings off, my jewelries, like just being comfortable, you know? I recently lost a ring, a very important ring. And I don't know where I've lost it. If it's in the house, if it's, actually I'm pretty sure it's in the house, but it's gone. Like it's just vanished and I don't know where it is. And it's really like messing with my brains because I'm like, I didn't leave the house with that ring. I know that for sure, but where is it? We've looked everywhere. I don't know if you guys can hear the fan that is in the bathroom and if you can i do apologize for that it's so loud you know what foundation i used today i really really love this foundation and i don't know why i don't use it uh, more this is the l'oreal true match it is the perfect skin tone shade to me today for the first cleanse i'm going in with my dermalogica pre-cleanse oil um i know i have oily skin and i don't necessarily like to always um go for an oil like makeup remover but sometimes when it's like a bit heavy or i don't know sometimes i just opt for it because i feel like it really does melt that makeup away wait i forgot to wear my armbands Also got a plate of wings oh they look good i ordered korean chicken wings i could eat wings i could eat wings like every single day of my life wings hit different in life Can you see I can't 